Locked it out in my head But all my thoughts are fading Even though it hurts I keep hanging on What's up guys, it's Matt, I'm back with another tutorial. This tutorial is basically going to be piggybacking off my previous tutorial on 4K proxies, but I wanted to do this tutorial just to show you how to do this specifically with drones. If you're noticing huge amounts of, of stutter and your, your computer can't really handle your current drone footage, then this could be a, a perfect solution for you. This also works with the footage from numerous drones. Today I'm working with um, the DJI Mavic Pro. It's just the codecs aren't really that great with these lower end models. Um, if you have something like the Inspire or anything that shoots with a better codec, you should be fine. But I'm going to show you how you can work around that. Um, I'm going to be working with Media Encoder and Adobe Premiere Pro. Obviously, it's what I edit in. So let's jump right in. So I have these two drone clips on my timeline that whenever I play them back, obviously they're not going to play per perfectly smooth. Maybe once they will, but. When you're working with 4K footage like this, it's just it doesn't really sit that well. So basically, what you want to do is open up Media Encoder. I already have it open here, and uh, there's some glitches here and there with this whole process. So basically, what you're going to have to do is start by dragging pretty much any clip into Media Encoder. So what we're going to do is start by making two types of presets. We're going to have to make an encoding preset and we're going to have to make an ingest preset. The ingest preset is for ingesting it into Premiere. There's different ways that you could attach them, but this is probably the easiest way that you can go about doing that. Which really the whole point of making the encoding preset is so that we could add the image overlay into it. And what this image overlay is going to allow you to do is differentiate when your proxies are toggled on and toggled off. It just makes the process a whole lot easier so you know that you're, it makes it easier to know that you're looking at your proxy file and not your full resolution clip. So what we're gonna do is start by clicking either here or here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this is on QuickTime and then you're gonna go into the preset section. Just open that up and then come to your preset and scroll down to GoPro Cineform YUV 10-bit. You could also use ProRes. Um, that also works very well, much better than the original codex out of these drones. So a huge factor of this whole tutorial is you're gonna wanna make sure that you de-click the export audio or else this will pretty much mess up all your proxies. Um, it, Premiere won't properly sync them because it's the, the actual drone footage does not have an audio clip, so it's just going to get confused when it's referring to a proxy file that does have an audio clip. So you have to make sure that you have the export audio box unchecked. So next we're going to come into our video, and since we do want it to be much lower res, we're going to put it uh, somewhere around here would be good. You can go lower, it really depends on where your computer will be able to handle. And then I'm gonna put these proxies in 720. And that's gonna be 1280 width and height 720. And you wanna make sure that the frame rate is based on whatever your footage is. Big truck passing by, sorry. So next, we're actually gonna put the image overlay on top of our footage. So you're gonna to wanna to come to the effects panel and scroll down to image overlay. And you're gonna to wanna to navigate to where you saved the image overlay. Now, I didn't actually address this before, but I linked the image overlay for download off of Selfie, I believe it is, or Selfie, whatever it is, dot com. And um, that's in the description below. I made it a PSD file. If you would like to edit it in any kind of way, that's totally fine or whatever. But um, you're going to want to make sure you download that. So take a second to pause, pause the video and uh, give that a download real quick. So then you're going to want to navigate to where you have 
that image overlay saved. Now I have mine obviously easily accessed in this folder. And I have a specific setting for this. I, I choose bottom right for the positioning and I have, I believe I, I did 60 for size. Yeah, and 135 and 60, yeah. Now you could tweak this in any kind of way you like. Um, I also lowered the opacity to, I believe it was 90. You could go a little bit lower. Like I said, since you're able to actually see this in uh, real time, you could edit it to however you like. But right now I'm using X and Y, 152 for X, 60 for Y. My size of the uh, image is 60 and opacity is at 70. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is come up and save the preset. I would name it something like, let's go with Drone GoPro Cineform. No audio. And I'm also going to write 720p. I'm also going to throw a proxy at the end of it. I know it's kind of long. You could then name it pretty much whatever you'd like. And so that's that's saved now. And you could just go ahead and click cancel after that. And you also could just get rid of that file. So now my, my file is up here. I'm just going to bring it into this folder real quick. And now, so with that, I'm going to create an ingest preset. So you're going to want to come up to this plus button, then click create ingest preset. And I'm going to name this drone. I could, you could pretty much name it something very similar, but um, this is what you're going to actually see in Premiere. So I would, I would make it much shorter. Just drone cineform. 720 proxy <laughs> sorry I always make it too long and um, you're gonna want to make sure it's based off of the last encoding preset that you just made so scroll down and I, I see right here it's drone it's, it's the name that I just made I know it's because it's crazy long <laughs> and then you're gonna go ahead and click OK So now we're ready to come back into Premiere. So now to create these proxies, what we're going to do is highlight our drone footage and scroll down to proxy, create proxies. And what we're going to have to do is navigate to where that ingest preset is. So generally it's going to be in Documents, Adobe, Media Encoder, 11.0, Presets, and then in that folder. I know that's kind of complicated. This whole tutorial is pretty complicated. but um, And then you're going to want to navigate to your ingest preset, which I know I named Drone Cineform 720 Proxy, which is my ingest preset. And then I'll just hit Enter. So now it's pretty much ready to create those proxies. I'm storing these proxies next to the original media in a proxy designated folder. And then I'm gonna hit OK and it's automatically gonna create the proxy jobs for these two clips that I have here. And it's gonna jump right into Media Encoder. Now these are short clips, so I'm actually gonna let them render out. Maybe I'll fast forward here. But you actually notice down in your preview that the drone overlay is actually on it. So now when you jump back into Premiere, you'll notice that your proxies are already loaded into there. And um, you'll know this because your icon is actually showing at the bottom. And that's if you have your proxies enabled. And that is going to be this little icon down here. 
if you don't have this icon here, it's going to be, you're going to hit the plus button over here and um, come up, hover over this icon. Looks like this. It says toggle proxies and drag it down to your bar down here and um, make sure that's selected and you'll notice that the proxy overlay is there now. So now I'm looking at 4K footage when once it's off, once it's on, I'm looking at 720 footage in GoPro Cineform. It's actually pretty amazing and now I know that I'm going to be able to play through this stuff incredibly smooth. I have countless Google Chrome tabs and other programs open including Photoshop and some other daunting tasks. But um, that about wraps up this entire tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you need any help or if you have any questions, please comment down below. Um, if you got anything out of this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any recommendations for future videos, also leave a comment down below. Thank you guys. Take care.